2008 National Championship game live from St. Louis, Missouri. Nick Colbert now joined by former Bandit and one of the best hockey players the North American Hockey League has seen, Pat Maroon. Pat, thanks for joining me here in the oh, press thank box. Thank you. How are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing all right, and as are your Bandits, 3-2 after 40 minutes of playing. First of all, your thoughts on tonight's hockey game where your former club leads the way? You know, my thoughts are, you know, they're playing really tough hockey, you know. They just got to keep hitting these guys. Or I think they're really, they're really scared of the Holy Valley, you know. They just got to keep playing the way they're doing and keep putting shots in the scoring, and I think, they'll be, I think they'll win this game. Pat, last year you played for the St. Louis Club in the national title game. 8-4 the final. Taking a look at the box score from last year, Ben Warda had the first goal. Then you had the next goal at the 3:33 mark. Pat, you then scored again, shorthanded at the 16:66 mark. Then your hat trick goal came in the first period at the 18:54 mark. Pretty impressive box score in last year's title game for period number one. First of all, tell us about the national title last year and what it meant for you to have a hat trick in the first period as your band has cruised down to a victory. Oh, you know, uh, I was just ready to play. I was really focused, and our whole team was. And you know, when Ben Water scored the first goal. We all came out and we all knew we just got to keep keep doing what we're supposed to do and keep it simple. And I came down and I, I get a pass from the top of the circles I scored. And and after that, two more go in, you know, and it's probably one of the greatest moments of my life. And I can't I can't ask for more what I did in that game. And, and from winning national title, John Cooper, he took me under his wing and Kelly Chase, it's, it's probably been the happiest time of my life. I think. Pat, from there, some great things in your hockey career have come from it. Tell us a little bit about uh, what you're doing now and, and what it was like being drafted by the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, you know, what I'm doing now is I just got, I just got uh, back home from uh, Philadelphia. I got called up from, uh, in, from the OHL on the London Knights, and I was really excited. I was really happy. And I, played, I played the last game of the season. I got one game, and I got a chance to prove them, and I, I got a chance for myself to look in and what I need to do and what I need to work on it. So, you know, it all, it all worked out up there. And, and now I just got to keep working hard and work out in the summer, and I think everything will be good for me. Pat, I watched you play last night in the pros versus prospects game. You scored at the end of the hockey game just uh, just for a little bit of fun. Tell us a little bit about what that event last night meant for you to play uh, back again in front of some of your hometown fans. Oh, it meant a lot to me. And, you know, playing just playing in front of all these fans, and they look up to people that go far in St. Louis, and that's what's good about St. Louis hockey. And for me, for the experience for me, I. You know, I, no one could say they sat by to Scott Malmby, Cam Jansen, and all those NHL guys. And, you know, a lot of people can't say they, they sat by them or had it. You know, I played on the same line as Cam Jansen, so it was a really good experience for me. And I was really excited. Pat, tell us just a little bit about uh, the steps you took to get into the North American Hockey League and what advice you'd have to young players that are trying to advance their careers as well. Uh, it, took, it was a hard step for me. It was a hard move. I moved to Texarkana. I had to work out. Every, I had to work out. I, lose, I lost 35 pounds. It, it takes a lot of hard work to play at this level, and I, I think a lot of people know. For the young guys, it's it's not just midget major all over. You can just float through the motions. No, it's it's good hockey, and you got to be ready to play. And it's North American hockey. You develop some good players. Well, Pat, uh, back to this hockey game real quick. 3-2 after 40 played. In your opinion, what does this Bandit Club need to do to come out with a second national championship? Uh, just keep it simple. And uh, keep hitting them and keep getting shots in that. And I think they'll be successful tonight in tonight's game. And hopefully they bring one home for us again. Congratulations. Best of luck uh, on your career. And congratulations on the career you had in the North American Hockey League being drafted. We all look forward to seeing you in the National Hockey League here soon. All right, thank you. It's Pat Maroon, former St. Louis Bandit. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Flyers. His Bandits, his former club, lead the way 3-2 after 40 played. We're back with...